Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the very first installment of me and me essentially means motivate and empower. The reason why I started this series is purely on the basis that a lot of people seem to have enjoyed my motivational posts which are on my blog. I normally upload a lot of motivational posts and I thought that there would be a topic that is nothing more fitting right now than being able to be comfortable with yourself, to be comfortable in your own skin, to be comfortable with who you are, where you are in your life, where you come from. It's very, very difficult for us to be comfortable with who we are and where we come from. And it took me pretty much most of my 20s to discover this. Um, and yeah, I... That's a little bit of an introduction, but if you would like to be part of the me series where you would like to join in, comment, give us some topics that we can talk about, definitely comment in the comment in the comment section down below and let's have a chat about it. But yeah, welcome to the me series and let's get started. Okay, so as I was saying that for me, it took me a really, really long time to be able to learn to be comfortable with myself. And when I mean comfortable with myself, I'm talking about comfortable with my being, who I am, being comfortable with how I dress, being comfortable with my size in terms of my body, being comfortable with who I am and where I am in my life. I took my 20s and I used my 20s as a time to be alive, to experiment, to have fun, to go out every night, to figure out what I like and what I don't like in terms of how I dress, um, in terms of my body, just not even worry about my body, eat what I wanted to eat and things like that. But as soon as I hit pretty much my late 20s, 28, 29, I realized that, you know what? I know what I like, I know who I am, and I know uh, what I prefer and what I don't prefer. I know what I'll tolerate and what I won't tolerate. So I wanted this first me series to be that. How do we learn how to be comfortable in our own skin? So comfortable doesn't necessarily always mean happy. You can be comfortable with where you are in your life, but it might not make you happy. Maybe happy will be when you, you know, you can travel the world as and when you want. Maybe happy will be when you're a size 28 instead of a size 34. Maybe happy will be, it doesn't necessarily mean that when you are comfortable, you are happy. I hope that makes sense. Um, you can be comfortable, but comfort means you are content with the space in which you're in. There is room for change. There is room for trying things out differently and working them out differently, but comfort doesn't necessarily always have to mean happy. Now, there's a quote that I found that I would like to read out to you, and I actually put it in the blog post where I talk about comfort. It's, it's a quote by Dr. Steve Maraboli, and it says, there's nothing more rare no more beautiful than a woman being un unapologetically herself, comfortable in her perfect imperfection. To me, that is the essence of true beauty. Can we just? Because it essentially means that you do not, you won't be perfect. You won't have the right teeth. You won't have the right body that society deems perfect. You won't live the right life. You won't live, um, you know, you won't have streams of cars just parked in your garage or or make a six-figure salary it doesn't necessarily mean any of that it just means you as a woman are in a place where you are comfortable with who you are and you enjoy the fact that you are okay with that so i used my 20s as that period where i challenge myself i experiment i test out what i like what i don't like what i tolerate what i don't tolerate and in my late 20s i kind of discovered what it is, the keys to being comfortable with who you are and being happy in your skin and being happy in your being. So I'm going to explain some of the things that I mentioned in the blog post. Read it because it's always more detailed than the video. I often don't want to make the videos too long, but uh, read it if you will. So another thing is it's very, very challenging to be comfortable in a world where you're surrounded by people who are not being themselves, who are not comfortable with themselves. People always try to fit into a certain norm. I want to be this person that is very, very, uh, uh, I'm, I'm woke, is that the word? They're woke and, you know, this is what I know and this is blah, blah, blah. I've, I've noticed that it's, it's a, 
it's sort of a trend that's going around, especially with young people that, um, I'm also a young person, don't even judge me, okay? But I'm talking about early 20s and things like that where, you know, I want to be, you know, a, a, a fighter. I want to show the world that I'm woke. I know I have opinions and things and I need to, it's fine, that's okay. You might not be that person. And that's also okay. It's very, very difficult to try and integrate yourself into a society in which you are just, you're the shy type. You don't like talking about things like that. You don't like wanting to come across as woke and aware and, you know, like, it's really, it's okay. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're not woke or aware with what's going on in the world, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to project yourself and be loud and proud about it. That's also okay. So being comfortable in yourself doesn't necessarily mean you have to be the person that the world wants you to be. You don't have to be anyone other than yourself. If you're a quiet person, be a quiet person. If you're loud and obnoxious and blah, 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 be that kind of person. That's okay. Being comfortable with who you are just basically says that I'm here, I'm who I am, and I'm okay with that. Whether you're okay with that is none of my business. And that's how it should be, right? That's how it should be. So essentially perception of how you view yourself is everything. That's the most important thing. It's not about perception from other people, how other people view you. Like I said, that's none of your business. But being able to be comfortable with yourself involves quite a few things. First and foremost, accept your flaws. Everybody has flaws. No one is perfect. You might not like the way your body is, but you need to learn to accept it. If you don't want to accept it the way it is, then do something about changing it. Do not go around feeling pity and talking about how, oh, I'm so fat, I'm this and that and the other, but you're not willing to change it. If you're not going to change it, then accept that this is who you are. This is the body that God gave you. This is the body that God gave you. And if you do not like it, then change it. If I don't like my teeth, I've accepted my teeth. I don't like my teeth, I've accepted them. If I didn't want to accept them, then there's so many things that I can do to change them. You can get veneers, you can get dentures, you can do this. But the whole important thing is that accept your flaws. Make peace with your flaws. If you are somebody who's manipulative, it's a flaw, it's a flaw. You can't just be manipulative for what? You know, but if you're manipulative and you mean and you this and you this and people tell you that's a flaw of yours, you need to accept it. If you don't want to accept it and you want to change it, which in that case would be the best thing, rather change it, then work towards that. But the most important thing is accepting who you are, flaws and all. We're not going to be perfect. We're not all diamonds. Even diamonds come with rough edges and they need to be to make it shine and become a beautiful stone. So you are also rough around the edges. We are all rough around the edges. Nothing about us says that we are perfect or we are what have you. But the moment you learn to accept that there are imperfections within you is the moment that you become to transition to being comfortable and content with who you are. Embrace your personality. Are you socially awkward? Are you a nerd? Do you like like really, really weird types of music. Do you enjoy eating crickets and, you know, just, just, just embrace your personality. If you're somebody who likes dressing up like Steve Urkel, if you remember Steve Urkel's from a way, way long time ago, but if you're somebody who enjoys dressing up like that, or enjoys dressing up like very young hippie type vibes, then that's fine. If you're somebody who does not like makeup, if you're somebody who does not like, you know, dressing up or whatever, do not conform to what you see on Instagram and on social media just because you feel like you will be liked more. Embrace your personality. Embrace the fact that you love to listen to old school music and you have no idea who Chris Brown is. Embrace the fact that you love to just be comfortable in yourself. You like to wear jeans and you don't like to wear dresses. You like to um, go out rather than staying in or whatever. Embrace. That's your personality. That's who you are. You don't need to change it, especially if it means changing it for someone else. Do not change it. A lot of the time we change ourselves for other people. Very, very dangerous. Very, very just, just not worth it. Because if you are changing who you are for the sake of pleasing other people, friends, boyfriends, whatever, you're succumbing to their ideal of who you should be. 
And that is a problem because then you're not being honest with yourself. You're not being truthful with yourself and actually saying that, you know what, I'm not this person. I like staying in. I don't like going out. I'm somebody who loves staying in. Even when my friends are like, you know what, um, let's go out. Let's go and chill at the deck in Hyde Park or whatever. And I'm just like, nah, I'm good. And I am not apologetic about it. I'm fine. I want to sit at home and I want to do some work or I want to watch TV and watch series all day. That's fine. But embracing your personality, embracing who you are outside and inside is a very, very, like the next step after accepting your flaws that pushes you towards being comfortable with yourself. Okay. This one is one that stands out quite a lot to me because I am the queen of this. Embrace solitude. You need to learn to be alone with yourself and be okay with it. I'm not saying there are people who are extroverts and they feel like they always need to be around people to be okay, but you also need to tackle the fact that if I'm sitting by myself in this house, do I feel like there's something missing? There shouldn't be anything missing. You should feel content with being by yourself and not worried about you know, am I, am I doing the right thing? Am I not doing the right thing? You need to be comfortable with your alone. Alone doesn't necessarily have to mean lonely. They can explain alone being lonely in certain ways or in certain contexts, but alone doesn't always have to necessarily mean you're lonely. You're not. You're alone. It's fine. It's okay. You don't have to fit the mesh, the mold where you are going out every weekend and doing this and doing that. You can do that, fine. If that's the kind of person you are, fine. But you also need to learn to be alone, locked up in this room, by yourself, not locked up, but in this room, by yourself, and be okay with it. And be perfectly content with the fact that this is who I am and this is what I'm about and this is who I'll continue to be for the rest of my life. Whether I'm alone, whether I'm with people, it doesn't necessarily matter because my alone doesn't scare me. My alone doesn't, you know, terrify me to such a point where I need to always have this, I have withdrawal symptoms that I always need to be around something or someone or doing something in order to become comfortable. If you can treat your alone as your comfort as well, that you're not, that you have no problem with it, that's also another step to learning to become comfortable and content with yourself. So essentially, I'm going to give you a task at the end of each and every me episode or me video. I'm going to give you a task. The task this week, and do it for this week, just this week alone, learn what your comfort is. Learn what your comfort level is. What do you enjoy? What do you like to do? What don't you like to do? What Try and be spend some time by yourself and thinking about these things and saying, okay, this is who I am. This is what I like. Jot it down. Write it down. So you can always come back to it if you feel like okay I feel like I'm losing my way but make peace and sense of what it is about you that you love about yourself what are you comfortable with what do you like to do who do you like to be around this is a task for this week that I hope that you will embrace and you will take on and hopefully it'll put you maybe three four or maybe ten steps closer to learning who you are and learning how to be comfortable with it that's pretty much it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this first time me <laughs> video episode, Motivate and Empower. And I hope as you go out, you motivate and empower others to do the same. All right. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.